FL Studio 2025 has just dropped. And with it comes this new loop starter option. When you start it up, so if you click that, you get a little loop of, you know, the genre of your choice. And you have the samples and you can also populate some video here. But let's just hear what the samples are. Go for another one. Let's go for some drum and bass, perhaps. Try out another melodic sample. Maybe we want to go for some trap. It always kills it with the trap. I don't know if there's just more trap samples to pull from, but the trap's always fire. Now, if we want to add some loops to go with it from these other samples here, right? They're all blank. We can right click and go to generate steps for channels and it generates some steps. And there you go, you know, pop it out and you're able to start working with it. I'm going to pick some drum and bass because I like drum and bass. And we are going to you notice the steps don't change. So we're going to go ahead, generate some steps for this. Let's see how quick we can get something going. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to the playlist. I'm going to unnest these. They by default are nested, but I like them being unnested because it makes the automation just a little more straightforward, I, I think. Now, I'd like to generate a few more loops, at least one more uh, set of loops. So I'm going to actually go back by clicking this little loop starter icon again. Generates more tracks, and if I wanted these, we could go for them. But I really just want some more steps with some different samples. And I know it just shows these channels, but if you come up here, you can look at the other um, channels as well. And we're going to send this to the playlist just blindly. In fact, I'm going to reset these. So a fast way to reset is just to click drag and go to reset. They're all back to normal because I don't want these. I'm just interested in a second loop to use. So we have this. And over here. You know, we might use that for something else. Who knows? I kind of like this loop more though yeah it's kind of a bit stronger of a loop if we're going to use this as our bass sound i kind of need to know what note it is playing so i'm going to go to edit and pitch corrector and it looks like we are just hanging out around the note e we're gonna have like some atmospheric chords yeah 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 why not I'm going to go to score dump last two minutes. And at the very end of this dump is this. These chords are going to be the basis for the main bit of the track and or at least the, a major theme. What's our top break sound like here? Yeah, 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 perfect. And we need a, a bass, we need a bass sound. Let's go back to flex. We're looking for just a nice, what, what else we got in here? We're on the Arc Sun Cityscape. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna automate this. We're gonna automate that. We'll call this track sundown and you know what start off just to keep it a little bit like things are going on already let's get an impact going okay so let's take these drums and they're going into track one on this track we are going to add a bit of a low pass type low pass and also a transient shaper with the release all the way down the split balance up 
height, we're going to automate both of these. And so these are going to start high and then they're going to they're going to open up and we want some sort of a fill or something there. So let's grab another flex. We will put this on its own pattern. Give me something. Ah, warehouse beacon, huh? Probably should be green. That's what I tend to do. Put this here. Let's get these going. And maybe we won't use this synth base, but we'll keep these loops here. You don't want that one. It's not as good. And this will play through. Okay, on these bass notes, I want to add some bends. So I'm going to move the pitch range up to 12, automate this in there. But on this one right here, it's going to mm, something like that. And then on the chords, what we're going to do is we're going to have it hold out a low E. Like so. We're going to have it just playing E through here as well. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to run both the Phoenix in the pads through what we're going to call base machine. Yeah, we'll just call it the base machine. <laughs> we're going to make it black. Okay, the base machine will only be active during this section. We're going to start off strong with a wave shaper. We're going to automate these effects in. Hmm. We should create a place that all this stuff's going to go to. Otherwise, we're going to wind up with a bunch of that sort of thing. So we're going to right click and assign an audio track to a bass machine. And we'll put it near the top. It's pretty important. And automate. So now they'll all appear next to that, which is kind of nice. And we are going to add after the bass machine a hyper chorus which we are also going to automate the mix around on and then we are going to follow that up with a fruity fast low pass. This is an old plugin you have to turn on. Now the new Evel Studio mobile rack that just also launched with the update is in there, but I haven't configured it yet. So I'm going to work with what I know. So we're going to use the fruity fast low pass here. And maybe we get some sick woes. And then we're going to come in on the chords as well and have them also match. These shorten them up, take the whole thing, a duplicate it. And we're going to grab these, pull them out, grab these, pull them out. Oh, we only need one of these. Pull it out. Finally, we're going to top it off with parametric EQ. We're going to make this a notch. We're going to move that around, move this around. You can see why giving the track a name now was so useful. We're just going to have these go all over the place. Let's try moving this before the wave shaper. We are going to automate the mix parameter on this as well. And have it on all the time and I'm going to duplicate it, make it unique and just set a starting value for it so that it is off at the beginning. And 
there's this new plugin called Emphasis, which I haven't tried, but it'd be interesting to use it as a cap. And so this is where we're gonna stop. cool so you can see how quickly you can get running with the loop starter and also you kind of saw i used it to generate an additional loop that we wound up not using but it'd be it can be kind of an interesting place to go for inspiration as well in the middle of a track subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day